I'm super excited to say that today's video is sponsored by Persimmon Persimmons. Say that three times fast. Persimmon Persimmons, Persimmon Persimmons, Persimmon Persimmons. Persimmon challenged me today to do a black box challenge, which is where they sent me a giant box of delicious ingredients, including their persimmons, and I have to come up with a cool recipe using those ingredients. So let's check it out, shall we? Ugh, I'm boiling, no sweater. When I say a big box, I mean a big box. <laughs> that is a big box. Okay, okay, let's see what's in here. I took a sneak peek, but I didn't actually open anything. Whoa. Wait, I gotta put this on the ground. This is difficult. Okay. Na na, the stuff that is in the box. Check it out. It's like Christmas morning in here, I'm telling ya. Okay, so first, of course, the persimmon persimmons. So if you don't know what a persimmon is, it kind of looks like a tomato, like a yellowy orange tomato, but it is a sweet, delicious fruit. The thing that I've heard that's really cool about persimmon persimmons specifically, ooh, persimmon persimmons specifically, <laughs> persimmon persimmons specifically, that's hard to say, is that unlike a lot of persimmons, this particular brand is ripe and ready to eat all the time. I don't know if you've had ever had a persimmon and you eat it and it's underripe and it's like, sucks all the moisture from your mouth. You just feel like you're dried up from the inside. Apparently these will never do that. They're ripe and ready to eat when you buy them, so you don't have to worry about that, which is wicked. Persimmons come from the region Ribera del Sucre. Yes, that's spelled with an X. Figure out how to pronounce that. <laughs> Aren't they a gorgeous color? Look, I got this fancy olive oil and balsamic vinegar. What is on here? Oh, check it out. Isn't that cute? They sent me my very own persimmon apron. All right, I'm doing it. What do we think? Is that cute? Cute little apron? I like it. I like it. Feeling ready to cook. Oh my goodness. Yeah, persimmons. Let me see. Um, Spanish wine? Okay, I like receiving these boxes. A pen, handy dandy for writing recipes. And there's a bag in here. What's in here? So many nice things. Ooh, Spanish paprika, I love paprika. Oh, it's saffron threads, gorgeous. You know, this is the most expensive spice and the reason is that all of these little threads are the stamens of a flower. And so there's only like three or something per flower and they have to be hand-picked. So that's why it's so expensive. Ooh, some gorgeous Spanish olives. Sherry vinegar, okay, so I've got a balsamic, a white balsamic and a sherry vinegar. Red sweet piquillo peppers. Piquillo, piquillo, I don't know how to say that. Spanish is not my language. I'd love to speak it though. I'd love to speak all languages. That would make traveling even better. And the last ingredient, Spanish Marcona almonds. Alrighty, now what am I gonna make with all this stuff? Okie dokie, so I took a little break and I uh, came up with some recipe ideas. So I think I know what I'm gonna do. I've never made this before, so hopefully, fingers crossed, it works. I don't think I can cook in a baseball cap though. I'm gonna take that off. All right, how's the hair? Is it looking a little cray cray? So this is my evil plan. I think I'm gonna use the saffron, the paprika, and uh, I guess the olive oil and make a bit of saffron paprika rice. And then I'm gonna try roasting the persimmon persimmons. I've heard that roasting them really does something cool to them. You can eat them raw, and um, but I wanna try that. And then I think I'm gonna top it with some of these lovely salty almonds. I'm not too sure. The wine, I think I just need to drink that by myself. <laughs> First things first, I just want to sample one of these persimmons as it is, because they look delicious and these are something that you can enjoy raw or cooked or any way that you want, because it's a delicious fruit. They are very lovely fruit. You can eat the skin. You don't have to worry about cutting that off. You can if you want, but uh, it's pretty tender. Mmm, 
Nom, nom, nom. We're really good. Mmm, that's delicious. It's pretty mild, lightly sweet. It's not overpowering in your face. It's kind of got a florally taste going to it, but in a good way, because I mean that as someone who doesn't like things like rose water, but I like this. It definitely doesn't have that drying mouth quality that I was talking about, um, so that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Super delicious. All right, so I'm gonna start making this recipe now. I'm turn on my oven to 350. I have a baking tray. Clean it with parchment paper so we don't have any issues of it sticking. Oh, geez Louise. I'm gonna keep snacking on it. I'm good work. Chop off the top and cut this into segments. Spread them out on the baking tray. Open this gorgeous bottle of olive oil. Yeah. Lightly drizzle these with a little bit of olive oil. And then a little salt. Open this paprika and sprinkle some of them with paprika as well. Oh, this is a smoked paprika too. Even better, I love smoked paprika. Okay, difficult oven, there we go. Ooh, that smells gorgeous. Sprinkle a little of this smoked paprika over top of the persimmons as well. Now pop these in the oven, prepare the rice. Okie dokie, Smokey. One cup of rice. I'm just gonna use it all, use it all up, right? Okay, so that's like one and a half cups of rice. When you use white rice, you don't have to do this when you use brown rice, but rinsing the rice just helps wash the starches off so that you don't get like really gluey rice. Instead you get the lovely separated grains that make a gorgeous, lovely, oops, lovely, a gorgeous, lovely, fluffy rice. Two cloves of garlic here, and an onion. This is just a small little yellow onion. Chop this sucker up. Yeah, it's stinging my eyes. I'm totally that person that always, always, always cries when chopping an onion. Which, considering I use an onion in almost all of my cooking, is uh, not the best, uh, best quality that my eyeballs like to have. Crying! Oh my goodness, eyes are watering. <laughs> Add about a tablespoon of olive oil to the bottom of the pan. When the oil's hot, Add in the onions and garlic and hear that gorgeous sizzle. You know things are gonna taste delicious when you hear that sizzle. Burning! Love the smell of onions and garlic. I know I've said that before in these videos, but it really does make me unusually happy. Okay, now that these are looking golden, delicious, and brown, add in the rinsed rice along with three cups of water. Add in ooh, two pinches of saffron and half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Color of this rice is gonna be insane in the membrane. Cover the rice up, bring it to a boil, and as soon as you notice it boiling, reduce it to the low simmer, and that's how you cook beautiful, gorgeous rice in a pot without a rice cooker. If you should have a rice cooker, you could do that too. Just, I guess, saute the onions and garlic, add them in with all the other ingredients to the rice cooker, and cook like normal. To complete this recipe, add a little crunch by chopping up some of these almonds. I don't know why, but I find chopping nuts so satisfying. I think it's something about the crunch, I don't know. I'm always excited when I get to chop nuts for a recipe. Okay, this is gonna be a cool color combo. Are you ready? I'm ready. I've got my gorgeous colored rice here. I'll put a scoop of that on the plate. Top it with these roasted persimmons. And garnish it with some of these chopped almonds for the crunch. Look how cool the colors are. They are gorgeous orange, beautiful colors. Let's give it a try now. Hopefully the dish worked out well. We'll test it out. I don't know. This is what happens. I make random recipes. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Mmm. Mmm. This recipe worked out really well. I'm definitely gonna eat 
all of this with the wine. I mean, come on. The rice has lots of seasoning, a little bit of spice. It's really delicious. You've got that nice salty crunch of the almonds and these roasted persimmons, I'm telling you, they taste really good when they're raw, but I think I like them even more when they're roasted. Mmm. The sugars have caramelized a bit. They get a little bit sweeter. Uh, there's some earthy flavors there that aren't, weren't there before. Super delicious. The little garnish of parsley. I'm actually honestly not even that much of a fan of parsley, and I was like, Phew, we just need some color, but that tastes really good in this combo. Super delicious dish. I would definitely make this again. Roasted persimmons. Yes, please. Delicious. So I'm gonna make this again, for sure. A big thank you to Persimmon for sponsoring this video. I had a lot of fun doing this challenge. I didn't know what I was getting into, but it turned out really super well. I hope you like this video, and if you do, let me know by leaving a like or a comment, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bon appetit again. Mmm, so yummy. <laughs>